The Atlantic Ocean has long been the lifeblood of Keensburg, New Jersey. But as climate change drives rising sea levels and more severe storms, this water is increasingly a threat. Now a new study suggests that globally, the number of people living on land at risk of coastal flooding could be three times what was previously thought. Here, where many lost everything in Superstorm Sandy, it's unwelcome news. Would you move because of sea level rises? I would could. definitely move. I am going to move because of sea level rises at, at some point when my life is in a better position. You can't fight the ocean? No. No, Mother Nature wins. And we're at the effect of that. My brother was telling me about an article in the paper that said in 30 years, Kingsburg and Union Beach, those towns aren't going to be here anymore. And I find that sad. But. I kid around and I say that I'll have oceanfront property, you know, but it's really a sad thought. That would be a worst case scenario, but not impossible. To come up with these predictions, scientists have used a new digital model to more accurately measure ground elevations. And while it is bad news for places like Keensburg, the worst impacts are going to be felt in other parts of the world in areas that are less developed and already more vulnerable to the effects of climate change. That includes countries like Bangladesh and Vietnam, as well as China and India. The study says that by 2050, 150 million people could find themselves living on land below the high tide mark. And 300 million of us could be living in places affected by coastal flooding at least once a year. That's even if we reduce carbon emissions in line with the Paris Agreement. It could be much worse by the end of the century if emissions remain unchecked, with rising seas threatening as many as 640 million people. What concerns me most from this research is I think of the political instability that has visited on Europe over the last five years out of migration pressures from Syria and Africa, the refugees. And then I think that that number of refugees is just a drop in the bucket compared to the streams of refugees we could have from rising seas. Many more coastal communities may soon face a stark choice. Spend resources defending what's already there or spend them moving away from the ocean. Hannah Thomas-Peter, Sky News in New Jersey.